Hello, and welcome to Amatro's Quick Cuts. My name's Todd Taylor, and today we're gonna to talk about placement of the cutters on the A post and the B post. First thing we're gonna do is a peel and peek to ensure that there's no safety systems in place. Once that's complete, we're gonna put a piece of hard protection in place to ensure that we don't need any glass or flying metal on the victim. The first place that we put the cutter is not the correct position. If we put the cutter on the outside of the vehicle, it will roll in towards the vehicle or towards the patient. On an A-post cut, we want to put the cutter directly in front of the car, high enough to where if we have to do a ramming operation, there's enough of the A-post left that we can actually do a ramming operation. As we move back to the B post, we're still gonna do a peel and peek, ensuring there's no safety systems in place. If you have a large bolt that is holding up the seat belt, you wanna make sure you cut above or below that. Just remember on newer cars, the farther down you go, the beefier the B post is gonna be. Try to go as high as you can. Once that's cleared, we're again gonna put hard protection in. Come to the outside of the car if at all possible. That was going to reduce the amount of turn or roll that you have on the cutters. As you can see, the cutters go straight through. If you put the cutters on that bolt, you will actually spread the, the blades apart and they will possibly break. As you can see, proper placement of the cutters on both the A post and B post are critical to getting the victim out. Also having a cutter capable of doing those cuts is extremely important. Thank you to Omatro for sponsoring this segment of Quick Cuts. My name's Todd Taylor.